this is, you know, when you see a lesson like this, it says, I choose the joy of God instead of pain. And I always think when you see the word happiness in a title of the course, it's never about being happy, by the way. <laughs> you know, when you choose to see the thing in there in the course about it's the joy of God, it's never about joy. What it is is telling you what is costing you, what you're holding on to that's costing you the happiness, what you're holding on to that's costing you the joy. That's what's so powerful about this. If you go to every, about every 50 lessons or so, or 20 lessons, I can't remember what the exact number is, there's a review lesson, right? There's those review lessons. This is um, the review for this particular section that we're going to be talking about, where these lessons are found, and then the review that follows it. It says in the review lesson, it says, any one of these lessons could take you home, if you believed them, if you really got them. And it is because each one of these is such, they're beautiful lessons, some of my favorites. You know, I feel the love of God within me now. The peace of God is shining in me now. All these lessons sound so great, but you know what they're telling you, what you're doing that's costing you that awareness. So they're power-packed lessons in what they're saying to you. They're lessons in saying, wake up. Have you ever wanted to say to somebody who's just like not awake? You're telling, you just know that they're killing themselves. And what you want to do is you want to grab them and you want to shake them and you want to say, wake up. Stop doing this to yourself. That's what these lessons are like. These lessons are wake up and choose the joy of God instead of pain. Realize what that means. You've got to stop going down this sick path where you think you've got no power. You've got to stop acting like, oh, got to wake up, guys. You know, we've got to stop saying, oh, it's the way it always was. My parents died of this, therefore I will, or my grandparents. And the, you know, we, we fall into these patterns. This is a wake-up lesson. It's not a pretty lesson. Did you notice? A lot of not pretty stuff in here. But that's so good for us to recognize how unpretty the world we made is. That's what it's saying. What does it say here? This is so hard for us to hear. Pain is a wrong, wrong perspective. That's the first line. It says, listen to this, when it is experienced in any form, it is a proof of self-deception. It is not a fact at all. There is no form it takes that will not disappear if seen aright, for pain proclaims God cruel. You know, just stop for there for a minute. How, how many of us have had pain? Well, everybody's going to raise their hand because at some point in time, you've had pain. What this is saying is recognize clearly what this is, what, where it's coming from. I don't want you to do this and go, every time you read a line, go, oh, I'm so guilty. Oh, I'm so guilty, which is what we do. Oh, I, oh that's not, yeah, I don't feel any pain. You know, I don't feel any pain as you feel the pain because I don't want to have proof of self-deception. What I want you to do is feel it clearly. You bet. If you're sitting here, this is proof of self-deception. <laughs> right here. Did you just take a breath? Proof of self-deception because you believe your body. Okay? So be clear. There's not a one of us who's sitting in this world that is not affirming proof of self-deception. That's not a bad thing. It's just let's become aware of it so that it can be healed. Let's come a become aware of it so it can be transcendent. So it's saying there is no form it takes that will not, but here's the thing. If you accept, okay, it's self-deception, it's a wrong perception, it can be transformed if seen aright. How do we see aright? Well, this is an entire book on what? A Course in Miracles, right? It's an entire book on adjusting our perception, getting us back in line because we're out of whack. You know, if you've ever gone to a chiropractor when your back's been out of whack, what do they say? Oh, my God, your back's out of whack. And then they crack your back, and then your back hurts worse than before you walked in. It might help a little bit, but you know your back's out of whack. Why is your back, and why it's going to hurt more is it wants to go back into being out of whack. And so when you put it back in right order, it can seem a little painful until your body gets used to corrected back perception, right? Same thing for us, our physical experience. Same thing for us. This is a little hard to take because we're so out of whack. We, we've just believed that we have no power. We believe that we're just a big mess. We believe if my, my family's life was a mess, I'm inheriting this mess. Uh, if my heredity has told me I have bad genes, then I got bad genes. If, you know, we bought into a lot of what we talked about before, collective consciousness of this mind that says we're all in this messy thing together. But if a collective mind can make the history of the world and the projection of the world into the future, 
this incredibly powerful mind can join its mind, can stop its flow of consciousness in that direction and say, no more. I choose the joy of God instead of pain. I choose God's love and God's peace instead of this perpetuating problem of the world. That's how powerful your mind is. So yes, look what you've done. Yeah, let's not get upset about it. It's just kind of an outward witness of how strong your belief systems can be. But if they're that strong, in service to the Holy Spirit, can transform this world. That's why the Course says a miracle can happen. It can transcend time. It can, it can heal the sick and raise the dead. It says, because you made sickness and death yourself. So if your mind is so powerful in one direction, it can be powerful for the truth as well. And that's what we have to learn from this. So we see what we have made. We see why we have made what we have made so that it can be healed. If you do not look, you never know. You know, we've got to get our heads out of the sand. We have to look clearly at what we have made so we can transcend this world, so we can transform the pain into joy.